Hi everyone, I hope you're all this is Coins Kid. I'm just going to dive into XRP once again. Thank you for your support. Big up the Coins Kid crew. So right now, XRP, you know, technically is in a, in, in a retracement here to the. Uh, let me switch to the daily time frame. Technically, you've broken out of a descending triangle, which obviously has a technical target here, and I'll show you. You retrace into this high. So if you break this high for XRP, this is good. This is good, but it's a little bit lackluster at the minute. It's I just want it to break up to be honest with you and break this eye because if you do break this eye you're looking at this look let me show you you're looking at a beautiful long uh up to 157 i think it's about 16 percent we went through it yesterday didn't we you're looking at a beautiful long of around about 16 percent yeah for xrp but to to validate that we have to break this high okay now bitcoin is trying to attack its eye so i think as soon as you see bitcoin break its local high you'll see xrp follow suit literally within hours or days okay it's all about Bitcoin. Bitcoin's trying to have a go. We've got certain alts that are actually breaking their local highs. You've got Cardano, which is confluence. That it's, things are looking really rosy, you know. Uh, you've got Cardano. You've got Ethereum break, just broke that local high. You've got VeChain, which today, literally an hour ago, has just broken that local high. So we've literally got XRP left. But like I said to you, in this bull market, XRP is a little bit behind, isn't it? It's a little bit lacklustre. It's doing well, but it's moving up slowly but surely, you know. And, and there's a saying here. There's a saying, okay, and remember this, the bulls go up the stairs, okay, the bulls go up the stairs, and this is actually quite nice to see, but remember the bears come out the window, okay, so remember that, okay, this is a case, you know, the bears come out the window, because this is where the bears took control, and we had that correction, isn't it, but this, here's the bull market, 101, and we come up, ran to a level of resistance, fell back to a key level of support, creating beautiful bullish patterns, where we're breaking out, okay, but if we break that high, fantastic, but if we start to get rejected there, and Bitcoin gets rejected at its local high as well, and fails to break that, that's where you could see Bitcoin come back for a bit more support but Bitcoin is looking super bullish to me you know not got a crystal ball but it is looking really really bullish you're breaking out of key levels of resistance you're falling back to that as support I think there's three key levels of resistance that have been back tested as support for Bitcoin so keep an eye on Bitcoin if you see Bitcoin breaking its eye okay this is confluence to, to Ethereum uh, to XRP eventually breaking its eye and you will be looking at a $1.57 XRP price tag and you won't be looking at that whopping correction which is obviously obviously still possible OK, this is why I show you key levels of support. Lose that. You're looking at a correction. Key levels of resistance. Break that. You're looking at continuation. It really is that simple. It's a game of support and resistance. Break resistance. Go long. Lose support. Go short, basically. But yeah, technically, XRP is looking good here because you have broken out of this descending triangle. There is equally more patterns at play as well. So I'm going to show you for XRP. Yeah, but you're fully aware. You know, I don't need to remind you that our technical target to the upside here, providing we can break these level levels of resistance is our next impulsive wave up out of it is at four dollars fifty okay which beats the previous all-time high doesn't it over there so yeah it, it's, it's all good providing you can hold support for continuation so right now let's take a look at xrp on the hourly time frame and see what we can see okay so with xrp on the hourly do you remember a few i think earlier in the week in fact or was it towards the end of last week i can't remember i'm so busy i'm all over the place but i said to you look you've got this level of resistance just here you've got a left shoulder a head and potentially you're still in play if you don't lose this low you're still creating this right shoulder which is an inverse head and shoulders pattern okay and you break this level of resistance just here and you're in a technical target up to one dollar 33 so you can see that that technical target is it's there at the minute okay and the only way you invalidate that target is if you lose this level of resistance okay so you're in a technical target to one dollars 33 at the moment but it's slowly slowly getting there isn't it you know so if you roll over here and you lose this support this trend line okay which is now support previous resistance of an inverse head and shoulders look right shoulder points of contact points of contact points of contact and then you got your points of contact here you came up you it, this was resistance do you see that it was major resistance you come up in an ascending triangle which again has a technical target okay which i'll show you because i think that that technical target's actually been met let's have a look and you break that level of resistance okay from here to here let me show you so you've got this ascending triangle like that you see that you're conforming to the 20 ema in a bullish cross just there falling back into it as support okay you broke this level of resistance just there and in doing so you've got a technical target from there to there let's have a look i think that that's been met anyway so you broke out yeah, yeah. this way you run into a level of resistance just there of this ascending triangle that you've got for xrp 
it's it, it's slowly but surely getting there isn't it but it's like what i said to you the bulls go up the stairs okay the bulls go up the stairs and the bears come out the window so until we can get a retracement to this high at 133 that's the technical target that you're now in for xrp i would expect at that level there you're still making a lower high than this 135 okay and it's, you still potentially could roll you know i don't want to be negative but you still could and you could still be looking at this a b c correction you know and, and, and this could even be part of the b wave where you've come down and you've made like a, a, a double top triple top or whatever and you're still making a lower high than that so do anticipate it's all about breaking this high at 135 before we can invalidate this abc deeper c wave correction here that comes lower than the a wave low do you understand that so yeah that's xrp it's doing okay but it's all about breaking this high break this high you're looking at continuation you fall down now and you lose this low at 105 you will be looking at a whopping correction here for xrp so yeah that's all i can say you know you're breaking out of a key level resistance here of an inverse head and shoulders you are in a technical target let me move this along because that's wrong actually that's wrong because you've broken it just there so you're actually in a greater technical target i think a little bit extra there about 134 i think it is yeah so you're trying to get back to this high you know you've got all the technicals that are trying to get you back to this high but it is all about breaking this high you break this high you're looking at fantastic continuation for xrp in this bull run so that's it take care everyone hope you enjoyed that update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned and thank you for your support and hopefully we get that um patreon problem uh, solved take care bye bye